stands out. We have a few things to go over tonight with you, uh, but before we do any of it, we would like to introduce to you the JCCC2 performing lineup this evening. I am, I am not 100% positive they have all shown up backstage. If I call for someone and they are not here, you may feel free to boo their absence. In mostly alphabetical order, please welcome Marion Call. Chris Collingwood. John Flansburg.
Already, huh? Already? <laughs> well, I got a whole week's worth of it. It's just very nice to you. <laughs> I'm ungrateful. Uh, a couple more. I like your sunglasses. <laughs> I Like Your Sunglasses is my Elton John cover band. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not going to get old over the week, is it? It's my Rolling Stones cover band. <laughs> well, we are sailing, aren't we? <laughs> Another couple of brief thank yous and acknowledgements. Uh, first of all, to our booking agent and the fourth member of the Joko Cruz Crazy Planning Collective, Armand Sadlier. Where are you, Armand? You out there? Stand up and take a bow. He's not even here. He's somebody, somebody just lost three percentage points on the profits for this. <laughs> And finally, uh, among our, our ma uh, amazing support staff, Jonathan's uh, assistant, Scarface, would you please come out and say hello to the table? And of course, the glue that holds these shows together, she who should be praised among all others. Please welcome production coordinator, Dammit Liz. or these five people on stage. If there is something going wrong with your Jonathan Colton Crazy 2 experience, whatever the hell it is, Joe Co. Cruz Crazy 2 experience, find one of us, find him last if you have to, because he's very famous and important and really shouldn't be bothered. But it's our job to make sure that you guys have an awesome week. So if there's anything Joe Co. Cruz Crazy related, Find one of us, or you can find, if they are all here, if you would stand up, our helper monkeys, the Joko Cruz Crazy Volunteers. Please stand up. If you would wave your badges in the air, they can be identified by the adorable little monkey keychains attached to their lanyards. And a big thank you to them for helping make registration work out so great today. Couldn't have happened without them. You can leave now. <laughs> okay, a lot of stuff to get through before we get to the free drinks. So, registration. If you do not have one of these, if you have not gone through registration yet, there are a few of you. There is the registration set up in the back corner of this room, up these little stairs here. Uh, we need to take care of you immediately following uh, this meeting here, because for all other official events, especially including the cocktail reception open bar that happens at 6.45 tonight, you will need these badges. All concerts, uh, all events being held in the uh, Culinary Arts Center, Queens Lounge, any official thing as it's listed on the schedule that you all should have received uh, requires these badges. We are, we are not trying to be jerks about it, but you guys paid a lot of money to be on this cruise and be part of these events, so we want to make sure no freeloaders sneak in on your largesse. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, so those of you who did pass through registration, remember those rooms up on deck three, the Hudson Half Moon Stuyvesant meeting rooms? Those have been converted and should very shortly be open now as the 24-hour gaming room. <laughs> which is also going to function as a sort of master control area. Uh, we have, uh, we're still collecting the easels and such, I believe, but we'll have two different whiteboards and two cork boards, which is a total of four boards. Uh, one of them will be the official schedule, which will update, because we do have a printed out version, but who knows what's gonna happen. That's right, you get a few fruity, fruity drinks in us, and we might decide to just put shit on at 2 a.m. Um, but if there are any changes to the schedule, that is one of the, uh, that is the best place to look, is the whiteboard that will list the day's events. Uh, in, in that room. And the other boards can be used for listing if you have unofficial events. There's all sorts of things already in the planning stages like the handbell choir, the acapella group, 
there's knitters, there's probably people who want to sit around and speak in Klingon. If you have some sort of group like that, that's one of, uh, we're hoping you will use that as a sort of central location to list where you guys want to meet and when. Uh, we have some materials set up there too. There are pieces of paper, there are sign-up sheets, uh, generic sign-up sheets where if you want other people to participate, and or if you want to find out what's going on, uh, they'll be on the table there, everything you need. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, as we say, that's going to function as our 24-hour gaming room. There is a lot more people this year than there was last year, and last year that gaming room would get pretty packed. So you are welcome to spill over into various other areas. I believe we've listed it in your Sea Monkey newsletter, which we apologize, by the way. Storm spent forever putting that thing together, and then while it was being printed out, he turned away and the lady started printing a legal document on a letter-sized paper, hence the funky margins and tiny, tiny... So don't blame him, pity him. Because he worked so hard. That's the highest compliment that's ever been paid. <laughs> but, uh, as a reminder, there are, there are numerous other places on the ship where you are free to go and take your games and gather and do whatever, including, there's just, uh, there's the, a place called the boardroom. You can find these all listed on your shipboard map that you received when you boarded. The ocean bar, the pinnacle bar, the explorations cafe, the piano bar, the crow's nest uh, lounge, uh, as well as the decks out... Ten forward, excuse me. Excuse me. The crow's ten forward nests. Basically, if it looks like a nice place to game, it is. <laughs> there is a small group of approximately 40 or 50 uh, tango dancing enthusiasts. They have a section of the crow's nest during most days that uh, that particular section is exclusive to them. Uh, but there are other areas you should be able to go, assuming you can tolerate tango music. Uh, they also, I believe, every night in 10 Forward from 10 to midnight are just having open dancing sessions, which you are free to join in on, as we understand. Do not, under any circumstances, try to physically fight them. <laughs> Limber. Which also, we, we want to very briefly mention, uh, we, we encourage you to, to self-organize and get together and form your own little groups and hangouts because it's less work for us. <laughs> but that said, uh, somebody mentioned it on the forums, and it was, it was a great way of describing it. We are basically on a floating four-star hotel. So we ask that you do be mindful and respectful, mindful of and respectful to the uh, other non-Joko Cruise crazy passengers, who we have uh, come up with a specific yet not obviously derogatory descriptor. Snorks. snorks. Be mindful of the snorks. So basically, I mean, we're not saying that you have to, you know, not make eye contact and be quiet at all times, but maybe no LARPing down the halls at 2 a.m. And we're... <laughs> okay, some LARPing down the halls at 2 a.m. No, uh, no murder flash mobs either, that's not it. An alien's cosplay right out. <laughs> Uh, it was mentioned earlier, the, the methods of communicating events, changes in the calendar, unofficial get-togethers and such. First of all, as we mentioned, the information boards in the gaming room. There's also, if you have internet connection, the Google Calendar, the official Joko Cruise Crazy Google Calendar. We will update that as well if there are any changes. There is, God love them, the Twitter microblogging app, which is up and running. We, I believe we ran out of information sheets on those. We're going to get some more printed, but if you didn't get that and you are interested in what the heck that is, it's basically a localized Twitter that does not require you to have an internet connection. Uh, you can either find someone else who has that sheet or we'll have them set out in the game room in a table where we have other information sheets set out by tomorrow morning, I hope. And I believe Scarface had an announcement regarding that. Come on out, Scarface, you adorable little young person, you. Twitter will seem to be broken on your various iDevices. This is not, in fact, the case. Um, in order to use Twitter, you need to get on the ship's wireless network. The SSID is um, MTNDSI. So we'll we'll print all this out, by the yeah. way. But if you want to just, if you want to, just listen to the instructions. <laughs> I will say that. 
<laughs> he starts to grow his first facial hair and he gets all uppity on me. I'm just, I'm, I'm just putting a couple of demerits into my Scarface app right now. <laughs> Scars. Uh, so, anyway. Overdue. <laughs> so, basically, you get your device on that network, and as long as you don't go through the login process to get onto the actual internet, your room will not be billed. You'll just be on this network. The problem on your iPhone or iPad is that it will keep popping up a window asking you to log in. So, the, the way to fix that. <laughs> Paul's getting tall, everyone. <laughs> The way to fix that is in your Wi-Fi settings, uh, which you can see clearly right here. Uh, in your Wi-Fi settings, once you've selected the MTN DSI network, you need to press that little, uh, little right-facing, tri starboard-facing triangle, <laughs> and that will like slide you over to a pane with more information. And there are two like little switchy switches that you can flick on and off. You try describing it. Uh, and you want to turn off um, auto login, which is what causes that modal dialog thing to slide up. So you just turn off auto login. Press the right facing triangle, and turn off auto login, and it will work on your on your eye eye stuff. And that is all. Scarface, ladies and gentlemen. There is also a very recent development, the unofficial Joko Cruz Crazy app. It's literally the first time I'm hearing of it. <laughs> Which, uh, we will get some instructions for that printed up as well, but basically it, you'll need an internet connection for it at this point, but it automatically draws all the information from both the official calendar and the unofficial calendar, which was set up where on Facebook? Is that where they get the information? I don't know, who, who fucking cares? <laughs> Google Calendar. It'll draw all that information off and you can keep it stored on your on your uh, your iDevice. We'll have that information as well. Uh, internet plans, previously mentioned. Uh, we have once again negotiated a discounted rate for you to purchase internet plans here on the ship. You have to go up to the Explorations Cafe to purchase those. Uh, the, the rates, which uh, to remind you, for a 250 minute plan, they're $90 each plus an activation fee. The 500 minute plan is $140 each plus an activation fee. My understanding is how that works, you'll purchase it uh, from the, the gentleman in charge. You may get charged the, the original rate, but he is going to go during the week and manually reduce your rate back to our uh, these rates listed here. And uh, I'm sure it'll all work smoothly. There'll be no problems whatsoever. Uh, but just in case you look at your, your shipboard account and you see that you've been charged more than you were supposed to, it is supposed to get adjusted back before the end of the week. Apparently you can do it online up there as well. It's the Explorations Cafe, which is up right near the Crow, the Ten Forward Lounge. So it does not have to be there for you to sign up for your Wi-Fi. That's correct. And you can just check your shipboard account before the end of the week just to make sure that you've been uh, given the discount you're supposed to receive. And if you haven't, then you can go bust some heads. Uh, all that being said, we would now like to welcome to the stage, once again, Mr. David Reese, to speak to you a little bit about the Wi-Fi Temperance Brigade. <laughs> 